Let's take a closer look at how technology is changing logistics and vice versa. Robotics is a great place to start. In 2012, Amazon purchased a warehouse robotics company called Kiva for $775 million. That was the second most expensive company Amazon had ever purchased at that point in time. Just a month ago today, Shopify acquired a company called Six River Systems for $450 million. Why? Because they want to challenge Amazon on that same turf. E-commerce fulfillment is a second illustration of the growing power of technology and logistics. On the one hand, you have disruptors like ShipBob who are using technology to lower the cost of their e-commerce fulfillment. On the other hand, you have consolidators like Radial Commerce who are deploying capital to buy competitors and pursue global scale. If you have any doubt about the convergence of logistics and technology, just ask Fred Smith the founder and CEO of FedEx. FedEx stock plunged 13% after its Q3 results last week. And one of the reasons for that was an explanation of a decline believed to be fueled by the ending of their Amazon contract. Fred Smith made an interesting comment. He said to shareholders, we basically compete in an ecosystem that's got five entities in it. There's UPS, there's DHL, there's the US Postal Service, and now increasingly, there's Amazon. So all of a sudden, someone that used to be a major customer of Amazon is now a competitor. What does it all mean? We're now entering a phase where logistics is more important than ever. You need to know about supply chains if you work in business, if you use technology, if you care about the economy, if you invest money, or if you simply want to understand your world. Logistics has become intertwined with everything we do.